House. There are a new set of paws in the Windsor Police Canine Unit who recently introduced Dog Officer Fuse with Handler Constable Chris Lozon. We do a 17-week training course with the canine initially when we bring them in, and it's just the basis to get the dog ready to work the road. But uh, we train daily with our dogs to make sure that they're experts in their field. It's like a pro athlete, to continuously honing their skills and making sure that uh, later on in the career that it just, it's repetition, it just happens naturally. So those initial first three to five years is constant training so that the dog can just perform naturally. Wizard Police Canine officers and their dogs train on a weekly basis in the facility here behind me. But where do the dogs come from? There is quite a lengthy process of selection and training before the dogs actually become part of the Windsor Police Canine Unit. Well, historically speaking, the three types of dogs that we're looking for uh, in police dog work are uh, German Shepherds, uh, Belgian Malinois, and Dutch Shepherds. Um, we generally go to uh, Europe, uh, usually from either Hungary, Germany, or uh, the Czech Republic for due to their breeding programs. Uh, once a dog's selected, we import the dog uh, directly to Windsor. They're known as green dogs, which are totally untrained. And once they get to Windsor, then they begin a four-month training process to become certified as dual-purpose dogs. Uh, the reason we pick uh, these types of dogs, generally Malinois and German Shepherds, is because of three things, because of their agility, adaptability, and their uh, intelligence. Police dogs typically retire when they can no longer pass their certification testing, generally due to age or health. Majority of dog officers continue to live with their handlers after retirement. I'm Todd Chiron for MediaPlex News.